So the first question has come from South Africa, and this is what he asks. What do we do with gold and silver if business do not accept it? Answer. The first reason why you are buying and accumulating gold and silver coins is to protect your money, protect your wealth. Because if you do not have your wealth outside of the banking system, your wealth or your money is going to be imprisoned in that banking system and therefore hostage. If they want to freeze your account, they can freeze it. There's nothing you can do about it. Don't come to me and say, Molana, Sheikh, look what they've done. What can I do? <laughs> I can't help you at that time. They can freeze your account, number one. They can take money out of your account without your permission. They can do, they've done it already. They've frozen accounts already. They've taken money out of accounts already without the permission of the whole of the account. So if you want to protect yourself from that financial Armageddon, hmm, from that financial Guantanamo, you, you're accumulating gold and silver and keeping them privately in order to protect your wealth. That's the first reason, okay? I, um, I traveled from Malaysia to come to Trinidad and I brought a hundred silver dirhams with me in my suitcase. I calculated that one dirham would be sufficient to provide food for a family for one day. One dirham. So if the banking system collapses, if paper money collapses, and if my bank account is frozen and I have no money, at least I have money, a hundred dirhams, to be able to eat for a hundred days. Yes. So you can do that. I have students in Cape Town. I don't know where you are in South Africa, but in Cape Town, my students, uh, they bought the silver, the raw silver, and they bought the machines, and they had them in a garage. And when I went to Cape Town on my last visit, they said, Maulana, come in. These are my students, and we're going to mint a silver dirham. And they had the strip of silver, and a machine to cut uh, around, say, correct weight, and then another machine to, to um, stamp uh, an image on it, not a human image, yeah? and another machine to polish it, and they, I made one silver dirham myself in Cape Town. Okay. The next thing that they did in Cape Town, my students, was that they, they created a market once a month, I think. And anyone can come in the market and sell, and anyone can come in the market and buy, but buying and selling in the market was restricted to dinar and dirham, silver coins and gold coins. So when you brought your South African rands to the market, they would change it for you to uh, silver dirhams. And when you're leaving, if you had any silver dirhams left and you wanted to reconvert it, they reconverted to, to, to South African rands at the same price, no change. Hmm? So in the market you use silver dirhams for buying, and so you hardly ever use a gold coin in the market. You use mostly silver coins. And uh, they do this once a month. And then my students in Durban, they heard about it and they decided they want to start a market there in Durban as well. I don't know, maybe they have already started it. And the ones in Cape Town, I'm not sure, they wanted it to become a weekly market. So there you are. You can start a market. And in that market, people will buy and sell using gold and silver. This should not be a Muslim market, no. This should be a market run by Hindus, by, by Muslims, by Christians, by Jews, by Buddhists, everybody who follows the religious way of life and even those who do not have a religion, but who do not want to be oppressed by this, um, uh, uh, this uh, 
uh, more than monetary system. Um, what can the IMF do? The IMF has prohibited the use of gold as money. We say to the IMF, get lost. We are not going to bow to you. The head which bows to the one God is not going to bow to a satanic system. No, the head which bows to the one God, the head which bows to the one God, whether it be Hindu or Christian or Jew or Muslim, the one God, the head which bows to the one God is not going to bow to a bogus and satanic monetary system prohibiting the use of gold and silver as money. Now, the reason why you have prohibited the use of gold as money in the international monetary system is because you want to replace the monetary system given by the Lord God by another one which has come from Satan, from Dajjal, but first of all with paper and now tomorrow with invisible electronic and digital money. We want to defy you. That's right. We want to defy you. And we do that, as Malcolm would say, without regard for consequences. Hmm? That's what we're going to do. If government decides to act against us, then we make it wrong. And we go somewhere else in the world where we have freedom. Yes, even if all of us have to go to Russia, leave the United States and go to Russia, we'll do that if the Orthodox Christian decides he's not going to submit to the IMF. Because all the Muslim countries are led by slaves of the IMF and slaves of Washington. That's all of them except a few.